All right, thank you, Mike. A Northern Kentucky High School returns from Lexington tonight. State basketball champions Covington Catholic High School beat Scott County 59 to 51 in overtime to claim the school's first ever state championship in basketball. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live at Covington Catholic, where the school held a pep rally for those champs. The last time Covington Catholic played for the state championship, the year was 1967. They fell short that night, but this year, Covington Catholic finished the game in overtime on a 10-0 run to become the 2014 state champs. <laughs> Up Dixie Highway, the CovCalf Colonels were treated like, well, state champions. With a police and fire escort, the team drove past students, family, and alumni as they return home with the only trophy that matters to them. We worked so hard for this, all the practices in the morning, all the practices after school. Junior Bo Shu says seeing the gym full like this proves just how special the accomplishment is. It talks about how great our, our base is, how our support is at CuffCalf, just alumni, students, NDA, everybody come together just to support us was amazing. Sitting among the students, 1961 grads Jerry Dreschman and Ray Michael say for them, it doesn't get any better than this. Thank God we finally got one. This is fantastic. Is it's just the greatest thing in the world. The greatest coaches in the world. There's no, there, you can't put a group of better guys together better than those guys. They're wonderful. They get more out of kids than anybody I've seen in a long time. They're great coaches. Inside the gym, the crazies, as they're called, cheer and chant for their champs. While many inside the gym made the trip to Lexington to see the game, oh, Coach Scott Rusat saves the medal presentation for the home crowd. But for Coach Rusat's winning a title with his son, the tournament MVP, is something that can't be put into words. We've grown together, and uh, you know I know it'll set in in the next day or two. Covcath finishes the year 32 and two, and now must figure out where to hang the banner. And if winning the first ever state championship wasn't enough for CovCath, there's no school for students on Monday. Outside of CovCath, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News.